Hi, it's Lin here from Shanggong Chinese Medicine Wellness Center. Today, in this video, I want to share with you something. is one of the 24 seasonal points according to Chinese culture. So what are seasonal points? They are the significant dates or period, usually a day we indicate on our calendar that indicates a seasonal change. And there are 24 of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. And today I want to share with you that is according to our calendar that is on a, um, of, of a significance that has something to do with this. It's an umbrella. This seasonal point is called Yu Shui or water or raining fall, raining water. That's the direct translation of it. So. Pretty straightforward, this particular seasonal point indicates when water will start to accumulate in more format of liquid rather than the frozen format of snow. For this year, this we are in 2023, this seasonal point falls on to February 19th. And all of the Chinese seasonal points, may, they change year to year, it's not sad. For example, this year, um, rainfall is this season point is on February 19th. It doesn't mean next year is going to be on the same date. It's going to be around the same date though, anywhere between February 18th to February 20th. And this is a time when temperatures start rising up, less and less snow will be falling and more and more rain will be um, will be here. So that is this particular seasonal point. Now, what is, is significant in your health and well-being? During this time of the year, temperatures start to shift, weather start to change. And here's another thing about this particular seasonal point is that um, there's, it's, it's very hard to predict, sort of, uh, sort of speak. And I can definitely speak about that here. Living here in Canada, this is the time of year. Sometimes we have really, really warm temperature, uh, like 10 or higher and very sunny, very beautiful. And, or we can have a day where we have a lot of rain. Or we can have the next day to be minus something very, very cold, below fro fro freezing temperature, and we have snow. So it really fluctuates day by day. This is when it comes to our health, this is when we really want to be mindful of how we dress ourselves and making sure we are warm and the best thing to do is to be layered so when it is warm you can easily take off some clothes and if it's cold you can really just keep yourself warm to prevent to catch some common cold and also this is the time where you really want to pay attention to as any other time throughout the year, um, how much liquid you're consuming, how much water to make sure you're hydrated, um, your nutrition, and um, as well as to really pay attention to how your body is going through during this period. I, as a success coach and life coach, working with mindset, this is a time where very often I enter a conversation where um, people feel this winter blue, especially here in Canada, as we are we have very long winter here and uh, during this entire season maybe um you know in other t other parts of the uh, entire globe the winter time is about three four months sometimes we have you know five six months of it feels like winter time and this is a time where this, this seasonal point marks the rising of the sun, more and more sunlight, yet it may be that tail end of when people really feel exhausted from the lack of sunlight. And this is when you really want to check with your emotions. Do you feel a little bit blue? Do you feel a, a bit of even depressive feelings? And to make sure you check on that for yourself. And if you, do notice anything, one is to remind yourself the sun is rising, the weather is changing, and to do something that brings this cheerfulness in your life, whether it's to do something fun or maybe book a trip around this time of year to somewhere sunny and have hang out with your friends more often, whatever it is, and this is the seasonal point of 
according to Chinese culture. And again, it is called rainfall or rainwater. That's really what it is. So that is all about it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave us a question. You can email us here or give us a call here. When it comes to your health and Chinese medicine, first of all, I always say, make sure you consult your own healthcare professionals. And if you do have any question, we are here to support you and help you. Those are the methods you can reach out to us. And we are, we are truly here to enhance your health and well-being with a natural, holistic, and comprehensive approach. And I'll see you at the next video.